Peggy 16. Don't forget who you are and where you come from. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Despite the best efforts of the nameless hero in previous installments, the world in Risen 3 Titan Lords is still on the brink of disaster. This time, however, a new hero has to step up, and he's got a very personal score to settle with the Titan Lords. You see, their relentless war has not only laid waste to most of the world and unleashed the dead from the depths of the planet, they've also stolen his soul. Our new hero will face a greater yet familiar threat in an adventure that Piranha Bites have declared is going back to its roots, taking favorite elements from Risen 1 and the original Gothic series. But what does that mean exactly? The Handcrafted World A key trait of Piranha Bytes games is the believable and authentic game worlds that they craft. This handcrafted world is one shaped by narrative. Nothing is there by chance, nothing is placed at random, and nothing is generated. Everything has its own look and purpose, and the larger world, crafted for Risen 3 Titan Lords, is no exception. This time around, the world of Risen 3 gives the hero the opportunity to explore a darker tone, as seen in areas such as Kalador, home of the legendary demon hunters, and Taranis, home of the mages and their protectors, the Guardians. Both of these areas may trigger memories of environments found in Risen 1, and they also offer a distinctly gothic vibe. Heroes will discover quests and characters as they make their way through this diverse world. From quaint medieval-style towns and deep, dark mines to the supernatural shadow world, there is a wealth of possibilities waiting to be explored, and for fans of the Piranha Bytes heritage, there may even be some familiar elements, and indeed faces, along the way. Ha! Mages! We should never have banished them! We should have killed them! Exploration there's much to discover and heroes are freer than ever to explore, whether it's treasure hunting in ancient ruins, roaming through forests or abandoned mines, and, for the first time ever in the Risen series, swimming off to uncharted areas, both with and without the aid of a map. No matter where one goes, as you'd expect, it's no walk in the park. Deadly creatures are lurking behind every corner, and the world itself isn't much friendlier than the local fauna. The world contains many dangerous areas loaded with precarious paths, booby traps, dead ends, and of course puzzles. But in Risen 3, as ever, fortune favors the brave, and more often than not, exploration reaps rewards, be it gold, peculiar quests, legendary items, or even secret passages. Attitude. At the end of a hard day's adventuring, our weary hero also can't always expect to kick back and relax peacefully with pals at the local tavern. But hey, that's risen for you. Not everybody wants to be your best friend from the start. And those that do probably can't be trusted. Respect has to be earned or even taken. Go fuck yourself. You are just cruising for a bruising. And it simply wouldn't be risen if the hero was able to dominate every fight right from the start. Similar to former Risen games or the legendary Gothic series, our hero has to pick his battles carefully. Sometimes there's no shame in retreat, so long as you can come back later with a bigger sword and the experience to wield it. Combat However, hot-blooded heroes may meet a swift demise if they're not careful. The true hero is mindful of his opponents in combat and uses his full repertoire of skills. Fast attacks keep opponents on their toes, but they don't do excessive damage. Heavy attacks, on the other hand, do a lot of damage, but they also expose the hero's defenses. The key is to observe and find the best time to block, evade, counter-attack, or even change tactics. 
Our hero has more combat options than ever before, allowing him to switch strategies seamlessly. Skills. As the hero defeats enemies and completes quests, glory is earned. This glory can be spent on making the hero better in various ways by improving his attributes in the areas of melee and ranged combat, cunningness, influence, toughness, dexterity, magic and spirit, and by unlocking new skills and abilities. This time around, our hero has more freedom to forge his style by choosing what he wants to focus on upgrading. But how does one acquire such skills? Teach me something. What would you like to know? A staple of Piranha Bytes games are the skill trainers who will help our hero reach new heights of greatness and, of course, they're returning in force to Risen 3 Titan Lords. These NPCs will teach our hero perks which can unlock new abilities, if the hero possesses enough gold to make it worth their while, of course, and some will even offer to train unique skills only when the hero is officially part of their faction. So choose wisely, hero. Can I learn something from you? You're not a guardian, therefore I am not permitted to teach you any of our skills. But I think I could teach you a thing or two about fighting. Return of Three Factions Speaking of factions, this time we're returning to the classic Risen One-like setup of three competing factions in the world, to which the hero can prove his mettle. Each offering unique quests, abilities, spells, weapons, items and tiered armors, depending on his level of worth and dedication to the faction of choice. The hero can choose to dip his toes into the guild, getting only what he needs to progress and no more, or fully immerse himself in their ways, being granted their progressively better equipment as a result. Those who prefer heavier plate armors to cloth and lighter armors will have a lot to look forward to this time. The three joinable factions aren't the only players in the world, however, and our hero will have to be mindful of other key players in the world who have their own agendas and allegiances. Return of Crystal Magic Followers of The Way of Magic from Risen One will also feel right at home. The art of crystal magic has not been lost, it's simply been hiding and has risen once more in response to the terrible events unfolding. Heroes can open a fight with a lightning spell from distance, throw enemies down in close combat by means of a shockwave and seamlessly finish them off with a sword. The dynamic interplay between spells and steel adds new depth to combat. Hundreds of quests Nodo is good GNU. Works a lot. Ask him if he need help anyway. Alas, even the best sword just doesn't cut it when one lacks the opportunity to actually use it. Luckily, there are more than enough reasons to draw steel. The world of Risen 3 is populated by many different non-player characters, just dying to send the hero on literally hundreds of quests. These range from rather simple tasks to epic hero work. Clever heroes will often see that there's more than one way to bring a quest to its conclusion. Sometimes they may even be able to accomplish a quest without having been told about it in the first place. But they should be mindful of the consequences. If a few crystals make their way into your pockets from time to time, I'll turn a blind eye. I've been waiting too long for a bag of crystals to be delivered from the camp's mine. I'm not counting on Garalt bringing them anymore. Garalt said I could steal a few crystals in the mine. What? I'll tell Magnus about this, and there will be consequences for Garalt. You squealed on me to Frink. So? So? I'll remember that, you hear? Sure. Crafting. Adventuring is a serious business, and our hero would be foolish to set out with nothing less than the best equipment and items. Crafting returns to allow our hero to take fate into his own hands by letting him brew his own potions, forge his own weapons, craft spells, stat-boosting jewelry, enchantments and more. Thrifty heroes keen on crafting will know to keep their eyes open for the raw materials in the world, 
be it from plant life, mining ore, or liberating claws and teeth from hunted creatures. The living world. The brave hero sometimes earns a bit of downtime, and on occasion, he can sit back and watch the inhabitants of the world go about their daily business, be it going to work and returning home, training for the troubles ahead, or simply spending their hard-earned cash in the taverns. Ah, customers! The dynamic day and night cycle is also perfect for kleptomaniacs. When everyone's asleep and no one's looking, sticky-fingered heroes can nick anything that isn't nailed down, so long as they aren't spotted. But they needn't worry about overloading their pockets. There's no such thing as over-encumbrance here. Risen 3 is made for players looking for a classic RPG experience, for players that harken back to the days and nights when games refused to hold their hand and left their path and destiny up to them. It's a game driven by these fans and built around their feedback. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this has given you an insight into how the veteran team of Piranha Bytes are drawing on their heritage for Risen 3 and how they continue to fly the banner for classic RPG experiences, bringing their unique style and personality to the role-playing games of today. Risen.